Hello there, I'm Steve from Mac84 and welcome to A Wild Eep. This is a series where I just give you hot takes on things I'm thinking about or things that have happened to me. So let's get into it. Today we're going to be talking about iCloud. What's iCloud? It's probably that thing that you subscribe to unknowingly when you get an iPad or an iPhone or a Mac and you run out of the five gigabytes of free space in like five months and then you go, huh, I need more space. And then you pay more money to Apple. Yeah, that iCloud. It's sort of where all of your data lives and can sync, but it sure needs some improvement. That's what we're going to talk about today. But it's one of those things where if you have an iPad or an iPhone or a Mac, it's something that you probably have and you probably have to use to use certain features of that device. You just simply can't do it without an iCloud account or an Apple ID. Most people just use one of the same. Their Apple ID will be their iCloud account, etc. Well, anyway, I have a storage problem and an iCloud storage problem and maybe a Mac storage problem. But let's focus on the iCloud problem today. I have been using iCloud since, well, since it was iTools and .Mac and MobileMe, and I have a lot of data, and it sort of crept up on me. So I take a lot of photos and videos, primarily for this channel and family events and things like that, and I use up a lot of space, and I often take many photos of the same thing, even if they're blurry or out of focus or Whatever the case may be, I have a lot of photos that I probably don't need to have, and I probably should have just deleted them as soon as I noticed through the magic of digital cameras, the photo didn't come out and I could just get rid of it. Well, I'm lazy and I didn't do that, and that finally has caught up with me. But most of the time, I think what's taking up more of my iCloud storage is videos. So right now, my iCloud photo library is about, I think, 1.8 terabytes. Yes, you heard that correctly, 1.8 terabytes. Now, it's not something I'm particularly proud of, because it has caused me a lot of issues in the past few months. So a few months ago, I started to get a warning on my phone that my storage space on my device, not an iCloud, but on my phone, was getting full. Now, my iPhone is not a small device. It's a 512 gigabyte iPhone 13 Pro, and I think it's great. I don't upgrade my phones that often, so it was a big leap from my previous model. And it's one of those things where I thought the extra space would be great and it would last me for a while. But what I did was I set the photos syncing option for iCloud on iOS to keep the master files, the big files on my phone. And the problem is that ate up a lot of space. And so even though the big versions of the photos that I was taking on my phone were still just taking up space on my phone and the optimized versions were sent off to iCloud, I was quickly running out of space on my device. So I said, oh, well, let's just put everything into iCloud. And for a while that worked okay. I probably had maybe, I don't know, 800 gigabytes, 900 gigabytes of photos, but I was subscribed to the one terabyte plan of iCloud, I think at the time, and um, or whatever the, the tier was below what I am now. You'll correct me in the comment section. But things have changed. They've, they've upped and, and moved around the tiers. But right now I'm on the two terabyte plan and you'll see where this is going. I eventually met my match with my iCloud plan. Um, after I had made that change, I kept shooting videos and photos like I normally do. And it caught up with me. And even though I have the high efficiency codecs turned on, that storage space ate up a lot of space on my phone and therefore ate up a lot of space on iCloud because my phone was now storing the optimized versions and iCloud had those master files and they took up a lot of space. So on my phone right now, I probably have photos and videos going back to, let's say, 2015. Maybe some of the older content was purged before then or is on a desktop copy somewhere, but that's a lot of stuff in iCloud. So now my problem was, what do I do? Apple only gives you two terabytes of storage as the maximum allotment of data on iCloud. That is before the Apple One subscription thing, I guess we're calling it, it's a service. I mean, it's a bundle basically. So the only way to get more iCloud storage space, if you're already paying the $9.99 a month here in the US for the two terabyte range of iCloud space, is to get this Apple One Plus as an additional add-on. And for the two terabyte model of that, that's gonna cost you an extra $30 US a month. I ran into the problem of I have way too much stuff in iCloud, that's my fault, boo hoo. However, I think this has raised a lot of red flags in my mind as sort of 
realizing how iCloud data is stored and what I have access to and what I don't. For example, earlier in this whole ordeal, I noticed that my documents group of data on iCloud was about 20 gigabytes higher than what I could actually calculate myself. So there was a lot of data that seemed to be there that wasn't. After about a month of going back and forth with Apple support, the best they could tell me is that some third-party app developers may have been storing data there, but neither Apple or myself would have insight into seeing or deleting that data. So I think a lot of us are gonna have this bubble of data growing in iCloud that we'll never be able to erase. So that's comforting. I went ahead into my photos library, which I had to sync, which was a whole other issue because downloading 1.8 terabytes photo library to a new Mac, <laughs> it takes a lot of time. Apple's network connection is not really that fast when it comes to iCloud. I understand they're not running like an enterprise level thing here, but it's kind of sluggish and it kind of really put a bad taste in my mouth. It took a few weeks to download that data and I have a fiber connection, so not exactly sure what was going on there. Anyway, I got my iCloud library all synced, library, library, all synced, and I was looking at it and saying, okay, let me try and find the biggest files. Well, I ran into an issue. Unlike iPhoto and Aperture, Photos doesn't really let you sort photos by things like file sizes, which would be really handy, by the way, in a situation like I'm in. Because my logical way of thinking was, let me find the biggest files, they're probably videos, and let me just download them to my Mac and remove them from the iCloud. That way I have a copy of them, but I don't really need them on my phone or from the iCloud you know, library really quickly. It, it's something I could just get later on. Yeah, I couldn't do that. So I ended up doing a lot of searches, a lot. And uh, a lot of people were giving out these clever scripts that they made to do this and do that. And none of them really worked for me. Maybe I was just too dumb to implement them correctly, but that just really put a bad taste in my mouth. I mean, who, who, who makes the change from photos to, from iPhoto rather, and says, oh yeah, you don't need to sort your files by any reasonable nature, <laughs> like file size. I mean, there's some filters in photos, but not by file size. So anyway, um, I ended up making these smart albums. And the way I did it is I said, okay, uh, the file type is a video and it's from the year, let's say 2017. So what I did was I went through, marked uh, that filter and went through year by year and just copied all just the videos off. I left some of them on, but most of the videos were from projects and stuff like that. And I said, I don't need this on iCloud. Copied them all off. And I had about, uh, I think 200 gigabytes or so of, of videos copied off. I said, okay, that's great. That'll give me some room, some breathing room to sync up all this stuff and we'll get going again. It didn't work. So although the videos were deleted from the photos library, that was synced. It was the system photos library. It was synced to iCloud. It wasn't moving. So I called up Apple again and they said, well, we think because it's so full, it doesn't have any breathing room to do anything. Okay, that kind of makes sense, but I'm also in a bind here because I'm at that two terabyte limit. So what did I have to do? I had to sign up for Apple One, their bundled service to get an extra two terabytes of data. I could have went a little bit less for 200 gigabytes of data, but I thought with all the syncing of stuff, just bite the bullet. Now, surprisingly, the representative didn't tell me that there was an option for a free trial of this. I thought I'd just be at the $30. So a miss on their part, I guess. But they were very nice to me. They did, you know, basically break it down and say, look, you got a storage problem with your photos here. It's one of the biggest iPhoto libraries or photo libraries we've ever seen. So I got that going for me, I guess. And um, yeah, it's just one of those things where I'm, I'm probably a very edge case of how people use that service. Surprise, surprise. Now is an extra $30 a month too much to ask to resolve my problem? Kind of. I'm not gonna keep it forever. I'm in the free trial now. I'm gonna wait, get all my stuff consolidated, get all the old files off of the library, clean that up, and hopefully resume that to a reasonable size, and then probably just downgrade down to the two terabyte data tier that I was on before. But yeah, it's kind of a sucky situation to have to upgrade just to get all your stuff synced up if it kind of just breaks and is not working. Because the dialog boxes and both photos and iCloud and the information that we're given on the Apple support documents and even by Apple support personnel is not all that helpful. There's a lot that they could improve as far as transparency goes. I understand they want to keep things simple. They want to keep things easy, but be transparent. I want to know what happens with my data. I'm paying for this storage. Be upfront. Tell me about it. I've had instances where 
photos upload or they can't upload. It says one file out of 500,000 can't be uploaded. Which file? Show me, tell me. I want to know why. There's a limit to the ease of use and the, the cutesy little messages that you get on these devices. Again, maybe that's a nitpick because I'm a power user here, but I want to understand my data better and how stuff works. I don't want to be looking at an error message like this and wondering, how do I fix that? But the problem with photos that I have is, you know, I can have a synced library with iCloud, but if I want to move videos off of that, there's no like real easy way to keep that together, if, if you know what I mean. So for example, if I remove all the videos from 2017 on my iCloud photo library that's synced, um, there's no way for me to like put them back in or reference those or in a different folder or something like that. And I understand it's probably a professional type issue. Like nobody would really want that except me. So what I'll probably have to do is have a copy of that 1.8 terabytes photo library with everything and then go to my iCloud library and just delete stuff, which is what I was trying to do when I figured out it wasn't syncing. We don't really have a good insight into the file structure of iCloud. And although you have access to iCloud Drive, that's just a subset of a folder. I can't go in there and look at all the photos. I have to go through the Photos app and it finds the data for me. And I completely understand why they do this. Apple is all about ease of use and simplicity. And I'm probably too much of a power user for iCloud in this scenario, where I want to manage my data or my photos a certain way. And it stinks because I like that it backs up everything for me. I don't really have to fuss with it. I don't have to worry about it. And the photos from my phone, or let's say I have an iPad or something like that, theoretically they'd all be in iCloud and I could access them anywhere. And that's great. Except that there's not, um, you know, the vast amount of storage options that you have with other platforms like Google or Dropbox where you could have access to that entire file system. I'd love to reclaim that 20 gigabytes of crap and just throw it out, but neither I nor Apple can seem to find it. I would love to be able to search my photos library and organize it by size and say, hey, here's a 40 gigabyte HVAC video that I took of like Windows 95 trying to install some local talk drivers. I don't really need that on iCloud, but there's not an easy way for me to do that. Now, of course, there are workarounds, there are things. I could search for keywords and dates of photos and bundle projects together and burn Blu-rays or back up to external hard drives and all this stuff, but I think that's eventually what I'm gonna have to do. But I was trying to keep it all simple and obviously that wasn't working out for me. During the editing of this video, I ran into yet another problem. I had signed up for the Apple One trial to give me two terabytes of extra iCloud storage space. Well, that free trial was up, and so I was billed for the $30 that the service cost. But when they billed me, Apple automatically canceled my existing 2TB iCloud plan. This knocked me down to only having 2TB of space, and again, my devices were very unhappy that I was out of space on iCloud. This had me calling up Apple again, and a bewildered support agent was unable to answer how or why this happened. This led me to having to manually re-sign up for the iCloud 2TB plan to resolve my storage issue. So there are obviously still bugs to work out with this system. But I think the bigger problem here is just how Apple services are growing. More and more data and more and more people are using things like iCloud. And I think we need a better way to manage that data. You need to be clearer insight into what data is being used how you could manage that. Do I want to just delete this information from this one app or this you know, one thing that I saved or anything like that? I think there needs to be a clear organization of that. I think that's one of the biggest problems because as I discovered, there's a lot of stuff in my iCloud that apparently I can't access. So hopefully Apple resolves these problems. Hopefully Photos gets a nice update and hopefully all this stuff is just a problem that I had and nobody else does because from a usability perspective and from an ease of use perspective, this was a pain in the butt. And I probably called Apple a dozen times and I have to say a number of those times, they weren't very helpful. Now, I'm not here to dump on Apple. I think they do a lot of great things, but they definitely need to know where they can improve. I think that they have grown to such a size that we are seeing some of the pain points of having so many services and having so many products and having so many tiers of products that I think, you know, 
there's some leaking bits here that we have to have filled. And in order for Apple to make their ecosystem of products better, I really think they need to button up these little areas and make sure that it doesn't grow into a bigger problem down the road. But that's just what I think. Love to hear your thoughts too. You could do so in the comments section below. And if you like these sorts of videos, if you like vintage Macs and repairs and stuff like that, well, I could hope you consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to like the video and stuff, you could do that as well. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you could do so at my handle, Mac84TV. That's about it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you right here next time on Mac84. Thank <laughs> you.